GSA provides a safe space for both members of the LGBTQ plus community and straight allies. We provide a safe place for us to just be open with um, whatever part of the LGBTQ community we are a part of. The GSA provides sort of a brave space for kids who are trying to find out who they are. In terms of the people in the GSA, it provides a safe space and a place where you can meet other people that aren't necessarily the same as you, but that have similar challenges and are similarly other. I love the GSA because it um, is a really safe space for the kids, but it's also a brave space. It's a space where they learn how to explain themselves. We want kids to feel comfortable here, to be able to be themselves, express themselves, to be able to be individuals. Our goal is to make sure that every student that's unique and individual is comfortable here when they walk in the, in the doors and we embrace that uniqueness and that individuality. I think that the administration is doing a great job this year. Um, support is always great to have for a club, especially a club with such a challenging um, subject and, and population. There's not too much like discrimination directly towards people, but I think there's just generally a lot of like ignorance about LGBTQ plus people and their role. It's mostly just the fact that the school doesn't take bullying as seriously as they should when it comes to like slurs and you know like LGBT stuff specifically. If you hear something that doesn't sound right, speak up, say something because even if they're not out there's someone listening and there's someone that heard them say that and it hurts a lot. You could be walking in the hallway and kids will be like oh that's really gay but a lot of people don't really understand what that means and it's kind of hard to think about People will go around and like say slurs and they don't really understand that it hurts people. So we have um, two clubs, ADL and peer leaders, that do a lot of work in including safe spaces for everyone, including LGBT. We have the ADL here to sort of educate. And we also sort of have this philosophy that whether it's mean jokes or rumors or anything else in the hallways, we, we have the teacher saying, you know, we don't do that here. It's a quick, you know, that's not acceptable here, we don't do that here. I do think having a GSA and having a place for kids to go, to be able to interact with each other, but with also with a teacher, um, is important. We kind of talk about like current issues, um, we do a lot of fundraising, um, we participate in national holidays like Coming Out Day and the Day of Silence and we go to North Shore Pride at the end of the year. We are uh, a school that's gonna have a culture of inclusivity and acceptance um, for everybody. So that I'm really, I'm really proud of that. The whole idea of GSA is like, it's an alliance between all of us. Because a lot of the times adults think that because we're kids we don't have a lot to think about. Like we're just thinking about like going on our phones or Snapchat, but really we all think about the same things and we think about how we want our world to improve. A lot of times it's just a thing where you can come and if you you know, it's like a great environment to be in, whether, you know, if you're LGBT or not. TSA will welcome you. If you're an ally, that's fine, that's great. Come and join us. We always need new people. We always want new ideas. It's open to all, and it doesn't matter if you're, like, if you're considering just come to a meeting and you might see that you like it, or if you don't like it, then you don't have to come again. Also, if you're not in GSA, like, why not? You can, I mean, it's, so inclusive, we welcome anyone that wants to come.